Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to part two, three-ish, I don't know if you count that first little bit of today's stream, we're going to be doing some more Final Fantasy X-2, um, our, our new game plus, our youth league run, okay here we go, we're starting on chapter five, we finished chapter four. Oh my god, it's chapter five time, we've reached the end, oop, I did not mean to bump my whole desk, um, we reached the end again. I think I'm Look at Spira. It's a total mess. Shall we go check things out? Mm-hmm. I don't know if we have time. Well, let's play it by ear. Way to take control. The wings! Round up! It's strategy time! What's up? Tell me more, brother. We know Vegna Gun is in the deepest reaches of the far plane. The only way in is to jump into one of those holes. Mm. Yeah, but which one? There's one in Besaid, one in Kilika, and one in Jose Temple. And the hole that Vegna Gun opened up in the Bavel Underground. So, which one do we jump into? Who cares? We just pick a hole and die! Good strategy, brother. Good strategy. Yeah, nah. Which hole we pick. Thank you. You should let her. <laughs> All right. We are we are not going to jump in the hole though quite yet because there is some chapter five stuff that we need to do. Okay. We got a message from Besaid a little while ago. Looks like Lulu finally had her baby. Really? Let's go see them. There's a message from Kilika too. Apparently things are getting a little messy. More bickering? Sort of. Now it looks like they're bickering over the fact that all the bickering stopped. Figures. So you're gonna see, since we didn't do everything this time, we're gonna have some places with hot spots and some places without, but we still do have a lot of hot spots. Now some of these hot spots are identical to what we had before, so we're not gonna go visit them. But if there's something different there, or if there's an item that I'd like to pick up in chapter five, we're gonna go visit it. So our first stop is going to be Besaid. We do have a little bit of a different ending here, uh, since we did not complete everything in Besaid hey! this run. It's a boy! You want to meet him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at his hands. They're so tiny. What do you think? He's cute, yeah? Good thing he don't look like me. <laughs> oh, Waka. Look, he's got your mouth. E, you think so? Mm-hmm. What's his name? Uh, uh... <laughs> I think the calm will end before Waka makes up his mind. Well, you better decide soon. <laughs> No rushing, yeah? Naming my son is my first important decision as a parent. Becoming a good father requires intense emotional preparation, yeah? How long are you planning on preparing? Until, uh, my preparations are done, yeah? Mm -hmm. oh. is just sitting over here yeah okay so we have to go down to the beach i have to go down to the beach to see becklam and then we will get our final be saved scene
Oh, how close are we to, um, finishing these Festivalist dress spheres? Oh, Yuna finished hers. Okay. Riku finished hers. Okay, everybody finished. Okay, whoa, whoa I'm so glad I checked. All right. Um, okay, let's equip a different one that everyone's going to do. Everyone's going to do trainer now. Trainer's another one where everyone has, like, slightly different abilities and stuff that they can do. Just like, um, just like we have with the Festivalist. Okay, yeah, all that's fine. They can just start at the top. And look, they all attack with little pets. So, um, Riku has a monkey, Yuna has a doggo, and Payne has a birdie. So cute. The, the trainer dress spheres are widely considered, like, not that useful, not that good. But I think they're what they make up for... Well, anyways, what I was trying to say. <laughs> for what I think they lack in utility, I think they fully make up for it in style. They are so cool. And I love me a pet class, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Becklum. So you're leaving the island? I've been called back to headquarters. We need to reorganize the Youth League. All aboard! We'll be setting sail shortly. You heard him. Later. Now that we've seen Beklam off, we have to go back and tell Waka that Beklam has left. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, I don't know what she was stuck on there. Say goodbye to Becklam. Oh, Waka. You missed him. Uh, well, I guess we never patch things up, huh? What can you do? That guy's head is made of rock. I think you've met your match. What's that mean? <laughs> it means it's taking you forever just to pick a name for your baby. Listen, I'm only worked up because I want to be a good father. Kimari told me something once. He said, only those who try will become. Uh, so you mean, uh, I have to do something and try to change, that it? Hang on, there's more. Then Kamari said, Kamari think Riku should stay Riku. Huh? So, I'm me then. Oh, I see. Yep, no matter how hard you try, you'll always be Waka anyway. 
Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It's not bad, Waka. It's good. You have to be yourself. Drigui. <gasps> Anyways, you guys stay in the village till nightfall at least, yeah? Yeah. He learned to say thank you in our bed. How sweet. All right, here we go. Final B side scene. Waka gathered everyone in the village around the fire. <clears throat> well, you probably know why I called you all here, huh? I'd like to introduce the newest member of B side Village. Oh, we already met him. <laughs> Say, you picked a name yet? <laughs> Don't tell me this is a brainstorming session. Like I do something like that. It could have been. But no, I haven't picked one yet. I'll think of one soon, yeah? For now, I just wanted you all to meet him. Everybody, take good care of him, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta come up with a name. No more dilly dallying from Dad. Of course not. Naming my son is my first important decision as a parent. Mm -hmm. Like Kimari said, only those who try will become. But um, I'm already me, yeah? That's true. Bingo. He's going to make a great father. All right, so that's what happens if you don't really finish Besaid what you get at the end. We're gonna do the same thing next for Kilika. Wanting to see our families. True. Yeah! But without orders, I can't let you pass. Oh, we'll get you your order from the High Summoner. So it's the end of this time instead of Donna. Your song opened our eyes. All that fighting was so pointless. Please, Lady Yuna, guide us now as you did then. <clears throat> Make way R right away. <laughs> Why they follow orders from Yuna, I don't understand. It was orders before, but now that she's there, it's whatever.
Let's check it out. Songs are powerful. I guess everyone felt it. What you felt? No, not me. Len. There's Donna. got me going. Well, I think I know what it is. I ordered a Lysol refill off of Amazon and they sent me a completely different like type of Lysol that's like lemon and sunflower, which is the grossest combination ever. It's disgusting. I don't know why that even exists. But anyway, I got a refund for it because they, they, and they said they wouldn't, they couldn't send me the right one. So I just poured out and bought some regular Lysol from the store, which of course was not in refill form. It was a brand new uh, spray bottle, but you know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Amazon didn't have another listing for that type of refill. Like their other refill listing was actually for Sorry we had to the uh, the lemon sunflower nastiness that I got sent. So now we're being wasteful with additional spray bottles, but whatever. This stuff smells disgusting. I just poured it all out when I was on my break. Finally, calm down. <laughs> All's well that ends well, right? That's right. Hey! <gasps> but it's Bartello. You haven't seen Donna, have you? Everyone's here except her. Um, I guess she's not coming. So sad. Poor Bartello. I was afraid of that. Hey, looky! A balloon. Donna! Oh, Bartello. <laughs> Flying leap. I think that's the end. I don't think there's anything else. So we're just gonna run up here and go to the save sphere. But there is a save sphere over here, right? Is there one in the temple? Oh yeah, there it is. So that's what happens in Kilika <laughs> whenever you don't really finish it. Bartello jumps off the stairs towards Donna. All right, we do have to go back to Kilika um, because I have to pick up an item. So 
So since we looked through the telescope in chapter one and chapter three, we should be able to pick up our invincible accessory over here. Take me over. Invincible, yes. That's what we wanted, okay. Having a second invincible will be super helpful. All right, and that's it for Kilika. So Luka is a hot spot, but nothing actually really happens there. You can you get Blitzball unlocked and you can follow the Moogle. Which I'm not 100% sure if we have to follow the Moogle or not to get the perfect ending. So we're going to not follow the Moogle. And if it turns out that we do need to follow the Moogle, we'll figure that out next time. Next run. Okay. We are going to go to Meehan High Road. Our proprietor, Rin, is presenting the results of his investigation into the High Road's troubles of late. Would you mind accompanying me to the travel agency? Not at all. Let's go see. Let's go see who the culprit is. It was Riku last time. We had a different culprit this time, or should. I am glad you are all here. I would like to talk about the recent string of incidents occurring on the high road. First, let us discuss the circumstances surrounding the hover crash. It seems that not everyone wants Machina around. Someone has been trying to destroy the high road's Machina, starting with that hover. Investigation of the new road yielded a vital clue. Marks were found suggesting that something fell into the ravine below. As you have no doubt realized, someone or something pushed the hover off the road. Additional remarks were found on the hover indicating it had been struck. In other words, the hover was attacked with extraordinary force and knocked into the ravine. Now, let us consider the runaway drone Machina. But then again, perhaps runaway is not the best word. Machina don't just run amok on their own now, do they? My investigation has revealed that the drone Machina did not malfunction. Rather, they were programmed to grow violent. Of course, it may have all been the result of pure coincidence. Perhaps the guilty party merely fiddled with the drone Machina's control panel after seeing someone else do the same. I am convinced that is exactly how it all happened. I would like to call witness that is this pilot of the crashed hover. Surely you saw the one who pushed the hover off the new road. I see. Just as I thought. It is clear our guilty party wanted to rid the high road of its machina. Lady Yuna, what do you think would happen if the high road no longer had any machina? Uh, we probably need chocobos instead. That is correct. Travelers would use chocobos instead of hovers. It all boils down to this. The culprit's objective, obviously, was to bring chocobos back to the high road. Who would want to do that? I recently witnessed a certain party chasing after a gull. This was no playful pursuit, but rather a sincere hunt for food by a starving creature. Hungry, it tried to devour its prey. It, of course, meaning that fiend which craves chocobos. <sighs> the baby chobocobo eater. With its main course, gone from the high road, the creature instinctively knew. 
Machina are responsible. Destroy them, and the Chocobos will return. And that is when it used its formidable strength to topple the hover. Further, when it discovered the Machina's control panel, it somehow pressed the right buttons to cause the Machina to go haywire. This fiend is truly an impressive creature. It has managed to thoroughly disrupt our daily affairs, even if it was just pure luck. Fiend or not, I admire it greatly for its tenacious pursuit of its goals. In honor of that tenacity, I will use the resources available to me Yay. to return Chocobos to the high road. Thank you, Rin. Welcome back, Lunar. To live without fear of being devoured. All right, so if you accuse the Chocobo Eater, you don't get an accessory or anything like that, but Chocobos do return to Meehan High Road. Well, Lady Yuna, is it not pleasant to be rocked back and forth the stride at Chocobo? The Chocobos seem happier with that fiend finally gone. Mm hmm. So, what are you gonna do with it? Winya Padan Ufa Chagufek. Oh, Rin! So, a happy ending for everyone. Unless you're a fiend. Anywho, let's get back to the airship. <laughs> that poor fiend. Wow, look at her go. Wait, wait! wait. Oh, bucked off. <sighs> Episode complete. We made it to chapter five, Lunar. We're about to be, we're, we're towards the end stretch of our um, second run for this game. Hell yeah. Okay, next stop is Mushroom Rock Road. Because we chose the uh, Youth League this time, we actually do have like completely different ending here. If you'll remember from last time, they told us they were going to have a tournament, but we were not invited. Okay, we were not invited last time, but we chose them this time. So, let's see what happens. Aw, uh, Elma, thank Thanks you. To you. We should be able to resolve our conflicts with New Yevon peacefully. The guys who went to the concert have been going around pushing for a truce. That's great! Sadly, there are a great many League members who don't know what to do with their energy. It may sound odd, but they're unhappy about losing the chance to fight. They are so ready to blow up. But Commander Lucille thought of this great idea! Like... What if everybody blew off some steam with a battle tournament? Yeah, tournament time. Sounds like fun. Uni, maybe we should enter. That would be so cool! Yibel's handling registration, so if you're competing, talk to him. Okay. Let's compete. Yibel. Will you be competing in the tournament? Yes, we will. Understood. Allow me to lead the way. The High Summoner Yuna has graciously agreed to help test our strength. Step forward if you are confident in your skill. Ooh, I wanna... <clears throat> I too accept the honor of entering the tournament. I will never forget the day I was allowed to challenge Lady Yuna. Very well. All units take your positions. Alright, so we actually get to do this mission this time. Let the first round commence. Huh? Well, I, uh, me? You, Yaibel. 
No problem. Time to beat him up with our animals. Sorry, his grenade is called Sorry. The heck. Too late on your high potion, dudes. A flawless victory. The next challenger awaits. Let's go. I got a good feeling about this one. Me too. Next. You make combat look effortless. Of course I do. Good boy. Let us continue. Elmo, we're gonna give it all we got, don't you worry. Geez, yeah. Ping gonna die. Let's fix that. Don't you confuse you now? <laughs> Thought I didn't have remedies. You crazy. Of course I got remedies. Oh my god, now she put why are you picking on Yuna so much? What did she do to you? That's what you get, Elma. Magnificent, Lady Yuna. Elma, you too fought well. Learn from this defeat. Commander. Who will be next? No one's gonna fight me after that. What? Will no one step forward? Nope, I'm well, OP. I guess we're done. You're forgetting someone. <laughs> me? Lady Yuna, if I may? I'd be honored. There we go. The honor is mine. Please be gentle. I will not. We gonna bite scratch claw. Oh. 
It's just Lucille. Okay. She got no minions. Good match. You really are amazing, Lady Yuna. You are incredible too, Commander. Bam, bam, bam. The end. Now is the perfect time for me to tell you something that has been on my mind. Oh, tell me, girl. It concerns the Youth League and Spirit's future. When the calm arrived two years ago, it echoed deep in the hearts of Spira's youth. With Sin's defeat, we had lost not only our mortal enemy, but also our purpose in life. I too felt lost. I did not know what direction to take, where to channel my energy. It was Maven Nuge who guided our lost generation to a new purpose, to uncover Spira's true past. This is the same man who was once called Deathseeker, who made no attempt to hide his despair. What caused Maven Nuge to change? That is not for us to know. Nonetheless, under Nuge's leadership, we finally found a way to apply our strength. But look at us now. The power we hope to use for good has intoxicated us all. Even Nuge. Aww. The Youth League is in danger of becoming a mindless band of thugs that know only violence. A power that destroys rather than creates without meaning. No better than sin. Do you remember why the Youth League seeks the truth behind Spira's past? Because Spira's past is the foundation for its future. Our power exists so that we may cut a new road to a new age. An age where children will never have to lift a sword. I agree, Payne. That was a good speech. I like to think it's maybe LeBlanc that changed Nuge's mind. All right, now because we did not see that before, that actually was like uh, the real final ending there for Mushroom Rock Road. So that does get us some, some percentage points. It should get us 0.8 percentage points. So we should be at 102.8, so let's check with our little checker. Oh, oh no, it's a whole percentage point. Okay, so we're at 103. Okay, so that's one percentage point. I was wrong about that. Okay, so that gets us one percentage point. We're at 103, nice. And I think that's the last of the additional percentage points we can get. So I think 103 is the most percentage points you can have in this game. All right, next we're gonna go over to um, Moonflow. Jose Temple's ending is no different. It's just you fight the boss and then you know you can fight him again if you get the if you start digging in Beacon L. And here, really, it's not different. But I just want to show you something slightly different that you can do. Super smasherific success. But we mustn't let success go to our heads. No, no, no. We must succeed again once more. We'll do relax and enjoy it. The show, I mean. I know, I know. As long as you're here, why don't you join them up on stage? Since you are you, you're most welcome to. In fact, I want you to. I insist. Um, so if we choose, we'll just watch, <clears throat> then you still can like go and look at the stage, but it just doesn't have Yuna and Riku and Pain on it, but you can still like flip around the cameras and all of that stuff and watch. 
So slightly wow, different there. I'm burning! I'm burning! Yeah, that was fun! Well, well, I'm delighted that you were so entertained! Yep, yep. I'm also very ecstatic to hear you say so! This is a dream. Mine, I mean, joining everyone's hearts into one ginormous heart! So that's why I do it! My work! Yes, siree! Dear, I've talked too, too, too long, much too long! Future customers await! Back to work, work, work! Ahem! Work! Good luck! Oh, oh, I nearly forgot. I'd like to ask your help again one of these days. I'd most politely like to formally request your later participation in advance. Woo-hoo. Hmm? <laughs> we never stop performing. <clears throat> Alright, so we had to trigger that episode complete um, to be able to do the next thing that we want to do. Alright, so next we're gonna go over to Moonflow. I mean, not Moonflow, Guado Salam, to get a unique treasure. Um, to get this treasure, you have to get. The memories of the oh, there's a different the scene too. Guado Salam, but there is nobody here to inherit them. That's so sad. What happens to memories when no one remains to speak of them? Yeah, so you get that little cutscene if you didn't really do everything that you could for the the Guado. You know, we kind of let the Ronso go attack them. Um, but. The reason why we're coming here is because if you get the episode complete from Moonflow, but then but then you don't defeat Garrick, uh, you get a different treasure in here. Really, really cool treasure right here. And it is Keys to Success. Keys to Success is amazing. It gives you double AP, double XP. Um, it's like double everything. It's amazing. So that was why we didn't defeat Garrick this time, was mostly to get that I mean, you see the scenes too, but mostly to get that accessory. All right, now that we know that uh, the Guado are basically no more, let's go see what's going on in Makalania. There is some differences there. Is it here? No, I think I have to go across into the other spring. I just want to be sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No more guado there. Alright, so we gotta go across the iridescent pathway to the other area. And you can hear the music is like sad, somber, like kind of creepy. And the woods are literally dying in this playthrough because of what we did with not stopping Garrick. Now it's back more triumphant, but it's no good. Okay, is this the scene? Yeah, here it is. The Guado sought shelter in these woods, but the Ronso hunted down every last man, woman, and child. Though their souls should rightly be stirring, I do not sense a thing. Perhaps they resigned themselves to their unhappy fate and departed willingly for the far plain. Forgive me, I cannot bear to continue. Better that they passed on to the far plane than wandered Spira unsent. But to think that there's nothing left? What will become of their thoughts, their memories? So if you don't stop the Ronso, that's what happens. The Guado just don't exist anymore. They either were killed by the Ronso or just left to the far plane on their own.
And if we come over here to the travel agency... Oh, apparently we get a random battle first. Let's kill these. It's freezing, I want to go back to Beacon Hill. So you can see if you buy from there, like it doesn't have any of the cool stuff that it has when it's like a waka shop. It's just the normal stuff from this area. So that's what happens to Makalania if you don't stop Garrett. Speaking of that, let's go check in on Mount Gagazed and see what Kamari and them are up to. Not satisfied! Not satisfied? All Garrick's wishes come true. Garrick attacked Guado in forest, take many lives. Murder Garrick happy? Silence! Garrick's anger never heal! Kimari tell Garrick many times force not solve problems. Then what good is power Ronzo received from Mountain? Once Ronzo trained to defend the Evan's sacred ground. But now summoners not come, Ronzo power go to waste. Kamari true elder? Then Kamari answer, Garrick! Ha! <laughs> Kamari no elder. Mari no elder. Aw. Yuna see Kamari shame. Don't be ashamed. Yeah, Yuni's right. Forget about that ogre. Kimari is elder. Kimari must lead way to Ronso future. Elder. Good news. Ronso children return to mountain. Leon and aid. We caused Elder Kamari much worry. Yes, you did. But we could not find a way to restore Elder's horn. We are sorry. No apologies. He doesn't want his horn restored. Lost Liam and aid trouble Kamari more than lost horn. Elder. Liam and aid enjoy seeing vast Spira? Yes, Elder. Aid did not want to come home. Liam felt that way too. We saw today Spira with our own eyes and we thought deeply. We think about path to future Spira. We decided. We will journey again and meet many people. Yeah. That's good for you. A long journey teach Leon and Aid more than Icy Mountain can. Kamari? Kimari decide. All right, so he's going to go confront Garrick. So we're going to follow him and see how the scene plays out this time. run ahead of Kimari, but somehow he gonna beat us there. He got teleporting powers.
Oh, while we're doing this, um, I want to change my accessories a little bit. What does Yuna have on? She has Iron Duke and Crystal Bangle, Ribbon and Crystal Bangle, Ribbon and Crystal, crystal Bangle. Um, instead of Ribbon, I want to put... I guess there's no point in doing Invincible quite yet. They're not high enough level where they're going to break. Okay, but I, I am going to switch out some accessories since we have the two Invincibles now. Have maybe Pain and Yuna wear some Invincibles. Because ribbon and ribbons aren't going to be needed for some of the other bosses. We are going to go down the Via Infinito and get and defeat Prima again to get another Iron Duke. We are going to do that. Because that's what I'm kind of thinking about, like how I want to strategize that. <clears throat> we should not have to um, level all the way up to 99 to defeat him again. Should be able to defeat him in like the 70s or 80s this time. Because of having way better accessories, and an Iron Duke. That Iron Duke accessory is OP. monkey points. <clears throat> What's a monkey point, Riku? Probably like, probably like cool points. The pain keeps taking away Riku's cool points, so she's adding monkey points. There they are. Okay, let's see what's up. Actually, let's restore this. Garak not listen unless Kamari speak of Ronzo future. Kamari unable to give answer he not have. Kamari not elder. Can I hurt him? Ooh, now she's mad. So be it. Kimari, teach Garrick how to use force! Hiya! Kimari, use force? Force not solve problems! Kimari still have no answer! Silence! Garrick not think for himself! Beg Kimari for answer. Garrick, not even pup. What? Leon and Aid make long journey, find own path. So, Garrick must settle Garrick problems? Wrong. Garrick not alone. Let us think together. Kimari is elder. Elder right. 
one Ronso problem is problem for all. All Ronso problem is problem for one. One day Ronso path will be clear. This Kimari believe. That's so tough for them. All right, so that's the scene. If you do not stop Garrick. <clears throat> All right, I am going to go next and we're going to sell some things because we are going to need some gill. We've got two places left to go and we are going to need some gill for one of them. So let's go sell some extra stuff that I know we're not going to need. Miss Yuna, what can I do for you? I don't think I have extras of anything down here, yeah. Okay, so that's some extra accessories. There's definitely items I know we will never use, like a lot of these, like, okay. Like we can get rid of all that, this, all these bombs, grenades. Don't need any of this. any of this elemental crap. Don't need the shining gems or the blessed gems. Don't need the supreme gem. We'll keep the chocobo wings. Um, we don't need the curtain. We'll keep the springs and tonics. I should have organized before that. Okay. Thank you. Alright, that's got us up to half a million gills, so that's helpful. Okay. Do I have... <laughs> do I have any soul springs? I do not have any soul springs right now. Okay. Alright, one thing to prepare we're gonna have to do is go and find a lich in Makalania and get some soul springs from him. <clears throat> Or really, the Lich should be in any outdoor zone, but I think I'm going to go to Makalania.
I know like it's probably not true, but I feel like because we messed up Makalania Woods and like, you know, it's it's bad there now, there's more likely to be liches. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go bribe from them because we are gonna need. All right, frequent encounters. Because <clears throat> if you bribe them for 22, like 22k, you'll get um, the soul springs, and we are going to need them for some of the bosses in the Via Infinito. For um, the level 80 boss, Char, Charl, Tarn, whatever her name is. It's Unileska. We need to use a soul spring on her to stop her from casting. Just beat up the gels. Let's find out. We are not doing a lot of damage. We might not be. Yeah, they got really high defense. Let's escape. I don't want to get squishered. Oh my gosh, where's the wraiths? I'm oh, sorry, liches. Similar design. Yuna. Where are you going? That kind of eco yo? Oh my gosh. Might try a different zone. RNG does not seem to be on my side right now. Yeah, you can't squish me. I run away. Okay, let's try Calmlands. We need to go there anyways. Let's head over to Calmlands and check that out. My last mission with the going. Didn't mean to talk to Shinra. Okay, let's see who won. The moment of truth is at hand. Now we finish this. You want a piece of this? You got it. You talk big old man. Time to put up or shut up. We're ready when you are. Take this. 
Yeah. In your face, we won. Now leave like we agreed. Wait, wait! Uh-oh, totally come to save the day. Far be it for me to say or speak, but you mustn't, mustn't argue like this. It really won't do. Not at all. Yep, yep, I can taste it in the air. Confrontation, I mean. Guess simply will not come with all this confronting. Please, please, please allow me to take care of business. All right, they have united forces. Okay, so we're gonna have to buy the, um, we're gonna have to buy the garment grid from there that we don't have. But we will come back and do that after we farm some gill. Let's go see if we can get a lich in the calm lands. Oh yeah, we didn't unlock the chocobo thing, so that's not... Okay. I have a feeling that the lich would be... In the, um... Cavern of the Stolen Faith. In Calmlands. We're just gonna run around Calmlands and go down there and see. We just need to bribe one of them. Good doggy. So we don't need to really, like, farm them too much. Just need to find one. And they should appear in any outdoor zone. Let's be speedy. Turbo go. Zoom zoom. Oh, I need to make sure I have Lady Luck on my garment grid. Yes, I do, and it's in the middle. Okay, fantastic. Ambushed? That's rude. Oh my gosh, I'm not getting any liches here either. Hmm. 
and check the wiki for where they spawn. Oh, there's one. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Just as I start to whine. Okay. Let's get... Done. Okay, so it should be like that. Oh, or she can die. Oh my god. Okay, first we need to take out all these guys. There we go. There's one. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, Phoenix down on Riku. Wasted an X potion. Okay, let's get a. Uh, let's see. There we go. Guess we can earn it back later. We can totally earn it back later. All right, got some soul springs. 14 of them, that should be plenty. I guess it was the luck of the draw. All right, let's equip trainer back on her. And zoom back across. All right. So let's go get started on Bevel next. Hey, thank you, Nikki. Hell yeah. How was your holiday? Do you do um, Thanksgiving? I don't think I've ever asked. Well, if you do, I hope you had a really lovely turkey day. And if you don't, I hope you had some good days off. All right, we're gonna head into Bevel. dog ran away and got hit by a car. I'm so sorry, Nikki. That's terrible. Oh, 
I'm so sorry that happened. Now I understand, I don't mind sad things from people when it's like, that's not 100% all the hey. time, you know? Hi, Marota. Because I want to help you guys and talk to you guys about Aren't sad stuff too. The youth league? What are you doing in front of New Yevon's headquarters? Actually, New Yevon invited me. <laughs> More like begged me, really. The chain of command here has fallen apart. Now they're scared Bavel will be left defenseless. They're so desperate to keep their numbers high, they'll take anybody, even them. Hey, Maroda, who are you talking about? Why, I was just saying how lucky we are the fearless Kindergartians are here. That's true, Maroda. Now go on and get back to your rounds, soldier. Oh, okay. See you later, Lady Yuna. Kindergartians, move out! So I don't think that scene's any yeah. different from choosing New Yevon versus Youth League. I think it's the same. But I have to go back and watch to remember for sure. But I feel like it's the same scene no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, they're turning into a regular kinder core. Well, at least they're having fun. Maybe fun is all this world really needs. Of <laughs> course, some people stay the same no matter how fast the world changes around them. Is that a dig at your brother, Maroda? It's not been my year, but I have hope for 2024. I have hope for 2024 for you too, Nikki. You deserve a good year after everything that's happened in 2023. Like, the world owes you. I remember this game being all over the RP scene around when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. The fanfics of Yuna and Titus. Yeah, I, Yuna and Titus is the, look, um, the, the main couple of the first Lady game. This Yuna, is the second look, game, look, but look. yes. <clears throat> we found it all by ourselves. So the first game was 2000 and... Two, four, something like that. It was while I was in high school, so it was very early 2000s. And then this game came out a few years later, also for the PS2. We're playing the HD remaster, though. We're trying to 200%. So this will be our second run through. We'll have to do a third run through. So we're going to go down to the bottom and beat up Trema again. Where are we? Rain's the badass one. Yes, it's pain. The her pain. Yes. Yeah. You're remembering correctly. Oh, I wanted to Nothing say changes it. here about the scenes, by the way, from choosing oh, um, sorry. the Youth League. First in a year, you are. A bunch of people had her as CCs. I do not doubt it. She is amazing. Best brand new character. Usually in these things, they introduce a bunch oh, of new yeah. characters and they're crap, but not in this game. This Pain's place awesome. This was long sealed away until a man named Tremor came and unlocked its secrets. Into we know who that is. Depths, alone he descended. Never did he return to the light. Nice story. About this Tremor, he... Uh, Hase? Let, let's get out of here. Okay. So spooky. I begged my parents to get me the Final Fantasy games. Well, this one is, um, you can get Final Fantasy X uh, HD edition. It comes with um, 10 and 10 2 uh, for PC if you want now. And if you're interested in Final Fantasy, um, what I can tell you also, yeah, 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 we know this. What I can tell you also is that I think I'm going to go play through all the Final Fantasies on stream. I have the Pixel Remaster, which is, um, oh, commercial. Oh, sorry. I'll tell you when you get back. Oh, I, I still had her on high potions. Oops.
We shouldn't have to do anything special to beat up the first boss here. We should just be able to attack at this point. Because we're so OP. have extra on, do I? Okay. Encounters are normal. I had to push all the buttons to find it, but I found it. It's so funny that the bosses and stuff from earlier in the game appear down here. I love that. So you can go fight them. Don't want to fight you, though, if we can avoid you. Let's walk around. Walk around. Easy. You really think so? Let's talk. More fight! Get him. Is there one on here too? No, that's just the other one thudding. Okay. We're safe, we're safe. Oh, one of you. During first playthrough, these are so hard to kill. Not anymore. Now I OP.
Oh, you. We got you. Sorry we had to win. I'm not. I bet you're not. I bet you're not sorry. <laughs> Got him in one round that time. Nice. Those were good chains. It is kind of hard to chain on the trainer dress sphere, I am noticing, playing with it. Like, I like the flavor of it, but I can see why a lot of people don't use it, because the chains, the chains are a little hard. The way, because the animations last so long. And they're unpredictable in length as well, because they're not ranged attacks. It's, the animal's got to run to them. All right, let's see if we can do it in one. Try to chain. Get him. Have a biscuit, boy. I want a biscuit. Oh, Nikki, I'm sure you're back from um, commercial now. Uh, I have all the pixel remasters, so that's like the first six Final Fantasies. So I think when we when we're done with our 200% run of uh, of 10-2, we're gonna go through all of those, and that'll be really fun. Because a lot of those I've never even really played, so I really don't know much about them. So it'll be like fun new experiences. I always think one's gonna come out of there, but it doesn't. <laughs> it's circling. The doggy circling, you know. <laughs> so cute. You know, would have a puppy. I think their animals match them so well. I got a good feeling about this one. Me too.
16 almost to the first boss It's so sad for the Machinas that are down here, too. Like, they aren't fiends, but they down here as well. But they're crazy. With all the stuff they put down here. Crazy far plane-esque nonsense. Oh, it's you. I got your oversoul, don't worry. you. That's what you get. Kill me in one hit, I kill you in one hit. Survive me too. Alright, here we are, boss time. Um, let's go return and save. Maester Kinok. Don't worry, Keenock, we'll beat you up. He's unsent? Of course he is! Don't be surprised, Riku. Y'all knew Keenock was shady as fuck from the first game. Crappy!
And I think I can just like attack him and he will just die. Yeah, Yuna isn't wearing a ribbon. go. Easy peasy. The Wandering Unsent. You think there are more in here? Probably. Uh, I think we should go home now. Let's ease their pain. You're going? Mm-hmm. I knew it! <sighs> Alright, let's do some organizing. sell some stuff and then check on our guild total. all these two. Let's see, I don't think we got new... Oh, we did get some. Okay. Done. Thank you. You're welcome, Barkeep. Alright, so we basically just have two things to do before we beat the game, which is get all the way down to the end of um, Via Infinito, all the way to floor 100 and beat up Trema again, and then farm Gil so that we can get... Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Farm Gil so that we can get that... Uh from it grid okay but we are gonna go ahead and end here so where's my mouse there it is if you're watching the recording on youtube thank you so much for watching um i'm gonna stream some more tomorrow so there should be more episodes of this coming up uh in the next next uh, days of the week so yeah this will probably go up on a wednesday so there will be a thursday and friday episode as well uh also this 
for when y'all are watching on YouTube. This weekend, I'm going to be streaming Seasons of Discovery. So come join me for like all day, all weekend stream. It's going to be a super fun blast. It's going to be amazing. All right, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, oh, thank you. Thank you. Of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.